Hi everyone. I had seen the battery butler charger being advertised for only $17 for quite some time. They were advertised in many of the classic car magazines and mentioned on some of the classic car forums. At first I wasn't sure how well they would perform compared to the double the cost battery tender brand chargers I had been using. After all, how well can a charger that only costs $17 and fits in the palm of your hand really work? About a year ago I decided to try one. It worked great on one of my seldom used cars. The battery always turned the car over, even after I had not driven it for a few months or more. I just purchased a couple more of the charges for my cars and decided to do a YouTube video on them. So I will do both an unboxing video, which is this one, and link it uh, to a technical video I'll do on them later. This is the unboxing video. When we open the box we have all the components inside. This is the charger. It's lightweight, small, and fits in the palm of your hand. This is the part that plugs into the wall outlet, 120 volts AC, and contains all of the electronics, along with two indicator LEDs. The bottom LED is red and lights when the charger is plugged into a wall outlet and there is power to the electronics in the charger. The top LED is green and lights when the battery is actually being charged. The green LED goes out after the battery is fully charged and the charger turns itself off. Here's where you can get more chargers at BatteryButler.com. And this is the power cord. It goes out to the various adapters. The cord length is a very generous seven feet. At the end of the cord is this connector. It will plug into either of three connection adapters. Two of which are shown here. These two come with the battery butler charging unit. The clamp adapters, which are shown here, would be used if your battery is easily accessible and you wanted a temporary connection to charge that battery. At the end is a uh, dust cover for the connector, dust and dirt protection. Just remove that and that will plug into the battery butler charger. Like that. And these are the ring terminal connections again are included with the battery butler charger and the ring terminals are great for smaller batteries like motorcycle batteries lawn tractors etc uh, it also comes with a dust cover shown here so you can leave that attached to your motorcycle or lawn tractor and keep that connection clean uh, this adapter would be more for a more permanent mount you can leave this adapter connected to your battery when you need to charge the battery just remove the dust cover and plug in the charger Next we have the manual that's included, 12 volt automatic battery storage charger and maintainer, and where you can get more at batterybutler.com. The charger is fully automatic, meaning you can plug it in and forget about it. The output, output voltage is 300 to 400 milliamps, which is less than half an amp and is ideal for long term charging of a battery the slower the charge rate the better. These are long-term storage chargers, not high amp chargers designed to charge your dead battery in a couple of hours. The manual is well written in English and it's easy to follow. And some of the highlights, automatic battery level monitoring, automatic on-off switching of the charge, 
regulated output voltage, red and green indicator lights, uh, spark proof connection, short circuit protection, one year limited warranty. This is the optional cigarette lighter adapter that I purchased. It does not come with the charger, but only costs $5 more. It will allow you to conveniently charge your battery through your cigarette lighter or power plug. This way you don't have to use the clamps or ring terminals. Uh, this is especially convenient if your battery is in a hard to reach location like a trunk or behind the seat. There's a tag on the cigarette lighter adapter that says, this adapter should only be used in a cigarette lighter port or power plug port that is not energized by the ignition switch. How can you tell if the port is energized by the ignition switch? Well, with the ignition switch in the off position or the key out, you can plug in a device like a, a cell phone charger or radar detector into the port. If the device has power, you can use that port and, the, and this adapter to charge and maintain your battery. As you can see, the cigarette lighter adapter is fused to prevent possible damage to the charger. And as you can see, the adapter plugs right into the battery butler charger. If you have a 6 volt vehicle, you can pick up a 6 volt battery butler storage charger. It's exactly the same as the 12 volt version, except this one is designed for the maintenance and storage of 6 volt batteries. It comes with the charger, a ring terminal adapter, and the clamp adapters. And as you can see here, the 6-volt charger on the right is physically the same as the 12-volt on the left. Except, obviously, it's designed for 6-volt batteries. And that's about it. Thank you for watching.